the New England Patriots won't be picking up that $20 million option on Darrell Rivas. What can you tell us about the thinking there from the team side of things? Well, it was $20 million, and so they need, and they were over the cap. They were about the $5 million over. So this takes them down to 15 under the cap, but now they have to risk losing a great player. But I think that they also realize they invested a lot in him with the $12 million and they're going to a Super Bowl. You know, they're going to be in the hunt, just like we saw with Devin McCourty. You know, McCourty was probably out of there until last night when Bill Belichick stepped in and found a way to keep him. So it's going to be probably the same thing, but we'll see where the bidding goes. And I think you saw the danger when Indomitian Sue, you know, didn't get the franchise tag, and all of a sudden, the Lions' $17 million offer was topped by $19 million by Miami. So let the bidding begin, but I think if it's close, Rivas will go back to New England. But we'll see if other teams will make it close. Let's pretend for a second it won't be close. How high will it go, do you think, and where could he end up? Well, the top cornerback makes 14.1 million, and that's Patrick Peterson. Now you know that Revis was making 16 when he went uh, to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but there was not any guarantees in that deal. So I think he can probably go back to 16, and maybe it goes back a little bit higher, particularly if you have the Jets and the Bills bidding. Now the Bills have spent a lot of money. We all, we know that uh, David Harris re-signed with the Jets, and so there's still plenty of money left for the Jets. So I think the Jets could outbid it, maybe take it over 16 million.